Bull and Terrier The Bull and Terrier is an extinct type of dog that was the progenitor of the Bull Terrier, Miniature Bull Terrier, Staffordshire Bull Terrier, American Pit Bull Terrier, and American Staffordshire Terrier. The Bull and Terrier was a cross between the Old English Bulldog and a variety of Old English Terriers. Names Over the years this type of dog has received the most diverse names, including Half and Half, Bull, and Terrier, Pit Bull Terrier, Pit Dog, Bulldog Terrier and Pit Bulldog. The most popular among these names was Bull Terrier, a name later lost to the breed created by James Hinks in the late half of the 19th century, the Bull Terrier. Many paintings, texts and engravings during or prior to this period named the Bull and Terrier only as Bull Terrier, generating confusion with the Hinks breed. However, the two dogs can be differentiated considering the fact that the Hinks breed only began to be popularized in the last two decades of the 19th century, and that there were only white Hinks dogs with a distinctive elongated head shape and triangular eyes until the beginning part of the 20th century. Some Bull and Terrier paintings are today labeled as Staffordshire Bull Terrier paintings, but the breeds are differentiated by the Staffordshire Bull Terrier being the descendant of the Cradley Heath variety only, and therefore does not represent the Bull and Terrier in its totality. History There were several varieties of this combination between Bulldog and Terrier, depending on the location, town or country, and the dogs chosen for the crossing. In Ireland, they used the old Irish Bulldog with different terriers and some insertion of hunting sidehound slash terrier crosses. In England, there were several varieties, among which three became known and survived until the 1930s. These were the Walsall type, that had some influence from the Whippet, the Darlaston type, that had the major influence of terrier blood, and the Cradley Heath type, that had more Bulldog blood. Phil Drabble reported that among these three types of Bull and Terrier, the type of Cradley Heath was recognized as a separate breed under the name of Staffordshire Bull Terrier in 1935, and the other two types gradually disappeared because they did not meet the imposed standard. But decades earlier, in the 19th century, at least the Walsall type was carried by immigrants to the United States, where it served as an important component for the genetic basis of the American Pit Bull Terrier breed, through specimens such as the Dog Lloyd's Pilot and the Colby Bloodline, strongly combined with Irish strains. The anatomy of the Bull and Terrier is the result of selective breeding for the purpose of hunting, dogfighting and baiting. Hunting Most Terriers, of the past and present, carried or carry a quarter to an eighth old English Bulldog blood in them in order, allegedly, to give courage to bear the bites of the prey they are meant to attack. Terriers who were not developed from crosses between the old English Bulldog and earthworking dogs were of inferior quality and were valued far less. There are earthworking dogs who by default and definition are called terriers because they have the ability to go to ground, however, the best earthworking and hunting terriers are the progeny of bulldogs bred to earthworking dogs, terriers, also known as the bull terrier or half-bred dog. John Henry Walsh wrote in The Dog, In Health and Disease, by Stonehenge, 1859. Walsh also wrote of the fox terrier. Not only is the fox terrier the progeny of the bull and terrier, but so is the Airedale Terrier, Rat Working Terriers, Working Black and Tan Terriers, and most all other vermin hunting terriers. James Rodwell described in his book titled The Rat, Its History and Destructive Nature, that the great object, among the various breeders of bull and terrier dogs for hunting vermin and rats, was to have them as nearly thoroughbred bull as possible, but at the same time preserving all the outward appearances of the terrier as to size, shape, and color. Dog Fighting the Old English Bulldog was bred for bull baiting. Its life depended on go low, pin and hold. Such a breed was unsuitable for dog fighting in the pit. Once an Old English Bulldog got a good grip, there would be little left for the spectators to see, except for two dogs gripping each other, closing their jaws tighter and tighter. Dot. Required were quick attacks, new grips, and tricks, which made up the drama of a dog fight that appealed to spectators, gamblers, and dog owners. The introduction of English Terrier blood provided longer legs, fiery temperament, and speed, which provided entertaining fights. The crossing of Bulldog and Terrier produced a dog that no longer belonged to either foundation breed. The new breed was called the Bull and Terrier. With attributes such as ferociousness, aggressiveness, and intelligence, there were few fighting tasks it could not perform better than other breeds of those times. In 1835, with the banning of baiting, the breed was placed in jeopardy of extinction, however, while bull baiting and bear baiting laws were enforced, dog fighting flourished, so the bull and terrier lived on. Around 1860, the
The Bull and Terrier breed split into two branches, the pure white Bull Terrier and the colored forms that lived on for another 70 years in the dog pit until they finally were recognized as a legitimate dog breed called the Staffordshire Bull Terrier. Dot around the same time, many lower class Irish and Englishmen were emigrating to America with their proto Staffordshire Bull Terriers. Over time, the descendants of these dogs became taller and heavier. Their masters opted for a dog that was both an aggressive warrior in the gambling dens of the cities and saloons but also was a working dog, its terrier and bulldog blood from Ireland and the UK proving to be very useful in farm work and in hunting. The breed was officially recognized as the American Pitbull Terrier in 1898 and later its close kin the American Staffordshire Terrier in 1936. Famous Bull and Terriers Billy a celebrated bull and terrier named Billy, weighing approximately 26 pounds, set a world record for rat baiting on April 22, 1823 by killing 100 rats in five and a half minutes. Dustman In 1812, Sporting Magazine described Dustman as a very famous and talented fighting dog, which represented the optimal bull and terrier type. Trusty According to accounts in the Sporting Magazine from the year 1804, a bull and terrier named Trusty owned by Thomas Pitt, second baron of Camelford, was just as famous throughout England as the Emperor Napoleon. Trusty went undefeated in 104 dogfights, 